Why does a vinyl turntable have those dots? Is it just so that it looks cool? Well, it does look kind of cool. Although it is a tool, it's a utility. It's an extra little bonus that thankfully someone created somewhere along the line. Someone who had the smarts and engineering to think about the mathematics of how that motor would spin. So for a DJ, this can be really handy. One, to tell if your turntable is not quite matching with the slider. What I mean by that is when the vinyl turntable is rotating at the nominal speed, the normal speed, at the zero position, you should see the bottom row of, of dots appear to be static, even when the turntable is moving. This can help you actually tune the motor speed to make sure that your slider and your motor are in sync. And it could be an, a matter of having to replace that slider, which does need to kind of be replaced every so often. It's a very handy tool to check. And the thing that you'll notice is if something is fatally wrong with the, with the platter and the turntable, you'll get quite inconsistent jittering of that line. So instead of being static, it'll be moving very strangely. And now it's not always going to be perfectly static because you have to allow for certain things. But this beautiful magic really helps us to see instantly if the turntable is at the speed that it should be. So as you move the fader up, you'll notice the different lines appear to stay static. And as you move it down, a similar thing happens, but in the opposite direction. So it does look kind of cool and it is a little bit of magic and it's actually due to what's called the stroboscopic effect. And it's a little, that light that shines on it has a certain frequency, it's a strobe light, and that creates this illusion that certain dots are staying still while others are moving and it changes over time. Hope that cleared it up and thank you for whoever designed that because it's a super handy tool.